let's talk about five critical tips for sellers entering into a buyer's market, okay? Uh, tip number one, you want to dismantle objections, okay? So with more homes for the buyers to choose from, uh, the, you're, they're looking for a home that's moving ready. They don't want to deal with a home that needs all these repairs. And I know you may be thinking like, well, they're buying a home. Why can't they do it? Many times buyers can't do it. Many times they're working two jobs just to afford the house. Many times they, you know, so they're going in, they want a turnkey type of house. And other than that, if, if you don't have a turnkey kind of house, that's fine. There's just a way to price it appropriately. And we're going to talk about that a little oh, bit further. Oh, she's going to say show. that. You just yeah. got to lower your price. Don't shoot for those crazy high prices anymore. You want to price your home to market. Make sure that the buyers can finance your home. If your home's under 475, you need to make sure that your home can qualify for FHA financing, Rhode Island housing if you're in Rhode Island um, uh, veterans financing because a huge chunk of the market in that price range is coming in looking at homes and some areas that you need to pay special attention to are broken or missing handrails if there's any mold lead um, bars on the windows bars on the windows <laughs> no if there if there's any chipping paint things like that health and safety issues and the pre-list home inspection from step number one will come in really handy here and your real estate professional can go through that with you uh, first impressions are the lasting impressions this is number three Matt basically in order to get the highest sales price in your home I have realized throughout the, the thousand or so homes that I've been involved with selling when buyers walk up to a house if they see that the lawn the, the grass is is high if they see that there's chipping paint all around the front if the first impression is a poor impression they're going to run for the hills or they're they're going to be turned off right away okay i got to tell you the best the best bang for your buck uh, for the front of a home is obviously like i said cutting your lawn putting a new roof on that's the only area in your house where you get a hundred percent return on investment okay so if you need a new roof again there's a way to price it if you can't afford to do that but if you can't afford to do it absolutely do it put that new roof on go 30 year don't go 20 year shingle the difference is nominal now walking into the house a fresh coat of neutral colors in your home is going to do wonders also declutter and stage make sure that your property is really you know picture picture ready and number four don't inflate your home's price okay several months ago a year ago you could inflate the price uh, anticipating the up-and-coming market now at this point in time prices have plateaued homes that need work are declining in price you need to make sure that you are on at market value in the best case scenario and you're gonna think I'm crazy for this but I promise you it works is to price your home a tad bit under fair market value one more don't posture on an offer if an offer comes in when it comes in especially if it's a couple of weeks that have gone by where you've been on the market and you only have one offer on the table don't expect the multiple bids anymore okay unless you're pricing your home a little under fair market value and your home is perfectly turnkey or has a crazy view other than that don't expect multiple bids anymore in this market and when an offer comes in do whatever you can to entertain and negotiate a high offer on there with what you have but the longer you wait the longer your property sits in a market like this the less and less and less a guarantee you're going to get